Teapot is really not that good, it's quite mid at best. BFD I lost its charge once BFB 13 hit. The show is now kinda boring and unentertaining. There's no denying that BFB 13 was great, but you can't be saying that the show got bland when we have episodes like BFD IA 14. Do you see this animation quality? I hate Tidra. Grassy actually kinda sucks. He's just a child-centric voting magnet and even though he got development he's still a bottom 10. Yes, but I feel like that's the point. Snowball sounds ugly and is ugly. LMAO. Rip Snowball fans. BFB 13 is better than BFB 14 by a long shot. I don't know about this one chat. To me, BFB 14 was just as great if not better. Woody is the hottest character in BFDI. If by hottest you mean most flammable, then yes. Loser didn't do anything wrong by distancing himself from winner. Honestly, this is true. It would have been too boring if they weren't mysterious like that. Fiery is the best character. No. 8-Ball did not deserve to be eliminated. He was in the middle of an arc and could have been very interesting and fun if given the chance. I feel like the arc he was given was his chance to be interesting, but it didn't really work. There shouldn't have been a debut in Teapot. Now we're halfway through the competition and we suddenly get a new contestant. Most of the Exeters don't even have connections to those in Teapot and are probably going to rob other characters of votes because they debuted. The arc should have ended with them escaping the kitchen without having one of them join. I honestly fully agree. I'm really excited to see how they integrate the rejoiner into the Teapot storyline, because there's already so much going on and it'll probably mess up things if not done well. BFDI was not made for ships. The dynamics don't work. I don't care what anyone says about them. Well, yes. 4X and 10 Golf are toxic. I don't know who actually calls them that, but yes. Shipping characters is weird. Whether it's toxic or not is up to you to decide. BFDIA is the worst season. Bobby is, was, and will always be F-tier. How are you going to give such an incorrect opinion, but also not know how to spell? Pick a struggle. BFB22's elimination wasn't rigged. I mean, if you think about it, Flower had a lot more potential to go further than Taco did, so whether it was or not it made sense. Flower didn't deserve to win. Between Flower and Gelatin, I would have chosen Flower to win, but I can see the other side. In my opinion, Ruby Book or Bubble should have won, but that's a different conversation. We still have Book in Teapot. Fiery's reason for being mad at Leafy in BFDI25 was really dumb. We already knew Fiery was dumb. Leafy deserved Dream Island. The only reason why she was rejected from Dream Island was Fiery got mad over Leafy not liking his Ferris wheel which was just stupid. Well actually Fiery deserved Dream Island since he got the most votes, but I agree that he can be pretty annoying sometimes. Teapot 12 and 11 were mid. Well no. 2 is hot. I really like Gelatin's voice change. I definitely don't really like it, but it's not as big of a deal as some people make it out to be. Oh my god I can't read all of that. To summarize vote to save is worse than vote to eliminate since more characters with less development or less positive traits get more votes due to fan biases and bots. Grassy and Bottle have received high votes while more deserving characters struggle which gives some characters unfair advantages. This concept is actually really interesting and I hope to make a video about this at some point. But like I said previously, voting to save is a completely different way of eliminations occurring in Battle for Dream Island. When you're voting to eliminate, you usually look at what characters character you like the most, but when you're voting to save you have to choose your favorite character. I know I'm Captain Obvious, but think about it. To become your favorite, characters have to be a lot more interesting than to not be your least favorite. It makes eliminations a lot more unpredictable and are more able to be skewed by plot events. Side tangent over, but let me know if you want a video on this by subscribing down below. I don't like Bracelety and I don't think she should rejoin, but I mean voting is done so well. Nothing is confirmed. Roboti isn't garbage. And 8-Ball ruined Saw. The writers ruined her so thanks 8-Ball and BFB8 writers for ruining my favorite character. I don't think anyone thinks Roboti is garbage, but rather that he's just not as interesting as other characters on Beep. That being said, I really like him. Also, for the 8-Ball thing, typing in caps won't bring Saw back to Teapot, so calm down. Fanny should have got out in BFB1. Not when Pencil exists. Pillow is the worst char after on the show. The fact that Teapot writers put her up for elimination like four times in a row. I just know the writers want Pillow out so bad. And so do I. Blocky being in a different show than Pen and Eraser is actually kind of a good thing. 
Blocky was pretty relevant in BFB, but his character has a limit that isn't as interesting as other characters chosen for teapot like Pen and even Eraser, so it makes sense. It's also good for their storyline. Buff Bag is one of the most underrated contestants in the show. In BFB1 she is an overlooked contestant by people like Lollipop and Eggie. In BFB13-14 to 14, it's shown she is fit for a team leader role and will do anything for her team. Throughout Teapot we have seen Donut and Buff Bag's relationship grow as friends. I completely agree, I fear. Taco was good in post split. Who said she wasn't? To summarize, Roboti is a great character and he's loyal and should join Teapot because Pencil, Bracelety, and Lily are bad. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I like Roboti, but not that much. He's definitely very unique, though, and I wish he had more fans. In my opinion, they forced Leafy's elimination so they could narrow it down to the three fan favorites Flower, Teardrop, and Gelatin. Flower was the weaker of the three, but they put it in her favor. I wouldn't say Flower was the weaker out of the three. That would definitely have been Teardrop. But of course, Leafy's elimination was planned all along, which I talk a lot about in this video, so go watch it right after this one ends. Loser is overhated. Loser is my dog. I hope we can see more of him. 8-Ball is incredibly overhated. He was a bit annoying in early BFB, but he wasn't just a gag. He had a cool art with golf ball and has changed. Again, these 8-Ball stands. Pillow sucks and she's overhyped for a character that has nothing but the sadistic character trope. The latest episodes fixed this. Mainly the unreasonable sadism and the screen time hogging was the problem. Pillow's personality was definitely forced. I liked it for a while, but it's kind of irritating to me now. She'll probably get eliminated, but I don't know how soon it'll be since the kids love her. I used to shop Firefy and then make fun of people who shipped Firefy. Hey, this is BFB Hot Takes, not BFB Confessions. But I'm not gonna lie to you, that's pretty weird behavior. I honestly think X should have stayed with 2 in Teapot. You say that now, but after BFB 16, everyone was begging for X to stay with 4. Hindsight is 2020, I guess. Marker is a good character. The rest of Death Pact is better, but Marker is way too overhated. Marker is the center of an insanely popular Roblox game. I think he'll be fine. Puffball should have survived over Golf Ball. Puffball was obviously going to get out. Golf Ball had more relevance, so too bad she's out now. Lily doesn't deserve all the love and she is so overrated. She gets too much praise for it and there are a lot of characters with better personalities. Lai Yai is unique in that her storyline got cut short due to an elimination. Her whole persona is still a mystery, so I wouldn't be mad if she rejoins. It doesn't seem very likely, though. Dora is actually an interesting character. Dora is by far in my top 10 favorite characters. She actually helped her team in BFB 14 and then proceeded to get eliminated, which is crazy to me. She's definitely higher than my least favorite character ever, David. I low-key think that some BFB ships could be considered canon. Okay, I can't hear you out on this one. I think that's the perfect way to end this. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. You know everything. Bye.